Okay, it's here. This is the Velotrek Nomad One Fat Tire E-Bike. We are going to do an unboxing. We're gonna do a test ride and we're gonna do a hands-on review. This is a fat tire e-bike and it should be a blast. So let's get started. Okay. First look at what the contents look like here. First thing we'll do is we'll take out some of the filler. We're gonna pull out this box here that's probably parts. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the bike around and just cut the box to make everything accessible. Love that look of the tire there. Pop off some of them straps. Be careful not to snip any of the wires on the bike. This is everything that came in the box unpacked. Let's go ahead and take a look at our toolkit. So inside the box, we have our toolkit, which comes with a quick start guide. Go ahead and open that up. We have our kickstand. We have a tool bag. And inside of our tool bag, some nice full-size tools. Look at that. So we have some Allen wrenches, small wrench, screwdriver, and this looks like it'd be handy to keep in the uh, in the bike bag. So we have some reflectors. This looks like it's probably our light. This is our display. We have a couple pedals. Our charger with cord. So these brackets here look like they're for the display screen. Have our headlight. And uh, our bell. Some additional hardware. And uh, looks like uh, some nice tubing to hold some wires. And uh, that's what's in the box. Let's take a walk around the bike and check out some of the specs and features the Velotrek Nomad 1 has to offer. The frame on this bike is aluminum alloy and the front forks are hydraulic suspension with 180 millimeter of travel with lockout. So this 48 volt 750 watt hub motor is pretty impressive. It has 1200 watts peak and it has a torque of 75 newton meters. The battery is 48 volt and it's UL certified. The cell is Tesla grade, made by LG or Samsung. The charger is 48 volts and your battery is expected to charge in about five to six hours. The display on this bike is three and a half inch backlit LCD display. It's gonna show you things like the speed, your trip, the battery level, the assist level, and a lot more. It also has a USB port on it. The top speed on this bike is gonna be 20 miles per hour. Velotrek says the pedal assist range is gonna be 55 miles on this bike. That's super impressive. Throttle range is gonna be 52. The rear derailleur on this bike is by Shimano and it's eight speed. It also has a Shimano eight speed thumb shifter, which is my favorite shifter on any e-bike. This bike is equipped with hydraulic disc brakes. The rotors are 180 millimeter front and rear. The brake levers are aluminum alloy with adjustable reach and a power cutoff switch. The saddle on this bike is pretty comfortable as well. It has some cushion and some suspension underneath. This bike comes with front and rear fenders the pedals are alloy platform with reflectors, and the kickstand is heavy duty aluminum with a wide foot. It has a small but bright headlight on the front end of the bike, which is LED. So the wheels on this bike are impressive. They're big and bold. The front tire is 26 by four inches wide with puncture resistant liner, and the rims are aluminum alloy. 
The weight of the step through bike is 72 pounds. The max payload is an impressive 440 pounds. If there are any other specs or features that interest you that I may have missed, please check out the Velo Trick website for more detailed information. Okay guys, we are taking the Velo Trek out on her maiden voyage and uh, let's, uh, let's see how she does. So the first thing I want to do with the Velo Trek is I want to ride it um, without any pedal assist at all. Okay, so right now we're pedaling the bike as if it's a regular pedal bike. We're not using any pedal assist as you can see and uh, we're in gear three. So uh, if I go to uh, gear one, you can see my legs just repetitively pedaling. Um, so it's really easy to pedal if your motor was off. Obviously going up hills would be tough, but if you're just kind of riding it on flat ground, you can move this bike. So pedal assist one's given us about eight miles per hour, nine. Pedal assist two is taking us to 10. Close to, yep, 10, 11. Pedal assist three is taking us to 13, 14. On pedal assist level four, taking us to 15, 16. And then uh, five kicks us right up to 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that's throttle only using the pedal assist function to control how fast we're going. So something I like about the throttle only on this bike is you're not going the same speed if you're on one versus five. With a lot of e-bikes, when you just hit the throttle, it's 100% on or 100% off. With this bike, if you're in one, you're gonna be doing throttle only slower than if you're in five, um, you'll go much quicker. So that's kind, of a, that's kind of a nice feature to have on the bike. I do like that. So on pedal assist level one, we're getting nine. 10 miles an hour on uh, pedal assist level two we're getting 11 12 miles an hour on pedal assist level three we're getting 13 14 miles an hour on pedal assist level four we're getting 15 16 miles an hour and on level five 17 18 19 and 20. So that pedal assist level five gives us that four, four mile an hour range, which gives us a good push. So, uh, so there you have it. That's what we have with the different pedal assist levels. I wanna get the bike up to uh, 20 miles an hour and then feel how our brakes feel. So let's go ahead and do a brake test at 20 miles per hour. That's great. That bike stopped on a dime. That was some nice braking right there. The hydraulic disc brakes are the difference maker for sure. So again, we'll get her up to 20 miles per hour and we'll slam on them brakes. Here we go. There's 20. Wow. This bike stops amazingly quick. One of the things I really like about the Velotrix uh, display is that you can see it in any lighting. There are some displays where there are uh, color displays that have a lot of flash and bang and it's really hard to see in certain lighting, but man, this really just stands right out at you. So it doesn't matter how bright it is, you can see the speed you're going, how much battery you got left, your pedal assist level, it just, it's just there and you can see it at a glance rather than having to turn your head sideways or look at it a certain way in order to see how fast you're actually going. We're in pedal assist level five, gear seven on the grass. It's awesome. And we're just jamming along. This bike is just dragging me along. I'm with the bike for the ride. So, uh, gotta watch out. There's a lot of, a lot of roots, rough terrain over here. So you gotta be careful. But this bike just is, it's got the power. Let's, uh, 
Let's go throttle only a little bit. Man, it just wants to drag me. It is just super fast. This is incredible. Look at that. Whoa, that is just awesome. Wow, what a ride. I gotta say, the torque on this thing is crazy. So the bike handles well. Handles on all terrains. I mean, I took it through the woods and I really beat it up quite a bit today and uh, just handling great. The other thing that I like about the bike is it feels very smooth when you're riding it. The tires are so light. The one of the first things I realized is these tires are so light. I couldn't believe how light they felt when I picked them up. Um, and the way you bounce around when you hit some of these bumps, I feel like the tires make that difference. Let me pull over and show you some of the things that I did with the bike. Just to uh, take it out for the first time. So three things that I added to the bike. There she is. I took the fender off. I think it looks kind of cool without it. And I figured I'd be riding through a bunch of uh, rough terrain today. So I left it off. But uh, three things that I put on the bike was the, um, the phone mount. Because... I like to have my phone mounted on the bike, uh, mirror, so I can see cars behind me, that's a must, and then a water bottle. So those are three accessories that I put on the bike right out of the gate. So my first impression of the bike is number one, it's comfortable. The posture, the way you're sitting on the bike is very comfortable. The seat, um, the seat's comfortable. It has a little, little bit of a padding on it and some, uh, some small suspension springs it feels like underneath but the seat is uh the seat is actually really comfortable the uh the fact that when you're riding the bike you're sitting up in a in kind of an upright posture i really like that um, especially on a bike like this where you're just kind of cruising around um, and if you take it on to some of the trails uh, you're not really leaning way forward. I just, I'm not a big fan of leaning way forward when I'm riding a bike. I like the upright positioning. Um, the bike is fast. It has an amazing kick. The step over and the step through both have hydraulic disc brakes, which uh, is really great that they put it on a, a bike of this price point because they didn't skimp on the brakes. I mean, basically, um, hydraulic disc brakes are better in every way. They stop so much better. They don't make loud squealing noises. Um, the quality of them, the maintenance, just everything about them is better. It's safer um, and you stop quicker. That's the most important thing. And a bike goes 20 miles an hour, you wanna be able to stop. You wanna be able to stop quick. Okay, that's gonna wrap this one up. Hopefully this video helped you make a decision on your next purchase. If you're interested in the Nomad 1, Velotrick has it on their website currently for $15.99. I will link in the description their website along with any potential promotional codes. So until next time, ride safe, have fun, see ya!